Esma agreed to give Kazem a second chance. Suddenly, Callus surprises everyone by unexpectedly returning from Switzerland. Haddis only knew that he was being discharged from the hospital. We're all going to be together again now, Callus says. Abidin is heading towards Callus. Ferret! Ilias suddenly shouted, bursting into the house. He claims that he is cheating on his granddaughter. And he believes that it is unacceptable to put his ex-wife in the house. Ilias takes Dyar. He says he won't marry her off to a man who constantly runs to his ex. Callus, who defended his family and grandson in front of Ilias, goes to his room. And Kazim calms Ferret and Abedin, who are grappling with each other again. Sun manages to convince Abudin to go home. Kadich, after leaving Kalis, says that he will not regret Abedin a second time. Left alone on the terrace, Ferret and Siren started talking about Grandfather Dier. Ferret calls his family strange and recalls Chasm's words that the Corkins and the Sales will not detach from each other in any way. Siren says that Dyer did not deserve this. Ferret believes that no one deserves anything in this story. Did I deserve to lose you? A Ferret asked Siren. He didn't deserve it, Siren replied to him. Then he calls says that he will fix everything. He'll find Senan first and then he'll get married. You'll be happy. Siren told him. You've forgiven me for not getting married, Ferret says. Siren replies that it was before she got to know Dyer better. Suddenly, the maid informed Ferret that a doctor had arrived. Oren tells Beetle that her behavior is unacceptable. And Beetle claims to know about everything. Oren reminds her that her mother committed a crime. Beetle asks how is her mother worse than his father. She remembers what Callus did to Abidin's parents. Oren asks not to talk about his father anymore. He declares that he does everything for her and their child. Sebda tells in the kitchen that she noticed that there is still something between Siren and Ferret. Meanwhile, Ilias cannot explain to his granddaughter in any way that there is no place for her in that house. Dyer tells his grandfather that Siren's husband is ill. Will the three of you live together if they don't find him? Grandma asked Dyer. My grandfather tells me to talk to Ferret and tell him that he does not give her away for him. Ferid called Dyar. She says that nothing is working out, but Ferret promises to fix everything. And if he doesn't succeed, then his grandfather will fix it. They almost got into a fight, Dyer said. They're not the right age, they won't be able to do it, Ferret replied. Suna tells Abidin that he has a family now. And if he continues to quarrel with Callus, they will suffer in the end. Ferret can't sleep, he's checking to see if Senan has come home. As he stepped out onto the terrace, he remembered Siren again. And the one on the balcony above is also thinking about Ferreta. Suddenly, Siren got a call from Suna. Siren says that anything can happen to him and Ferret at any moment. She says she shouldn't stay under the same roof with him. Suno believes that the situation with Senan is worse than with Ferret. Siren wants to talk to Ferret and goes to look for him. And Ferret hearing the creaking on Siren's balcony. I realized that she was still awake. Ferret goes to the kitchen and makes sandwiches for them and Siren. Meanwhile, not finding Ferret in his room, Siren searches for him by the pool. Ferret goes to Siren's room, but does not find her there. Then they run into each other in the hallway, and it turns out that they have been looking for each other for a long time, because they are very hungry. Siren, taking both sandwiches, goes to his room. Ferret reminds me that one sandwich is his.
Meanwhile, Senan is not far from the mansion. A new day is coming. Abin couldn't sleep at night, he was thinking about Suna's words. Abidin says he just wants to hear an explanation. Why did they do this to his parents? And why was he left in an orphanage? Abidin wants to understand why Callus did this to his relative. Oran, Ifaat and Ferret find out that Latif did everything. And Talus just wanted to scare his brother. Ifaket believes that now Abidin will take everything from them. And as a result, their company will go bankrupt. Farid asks to do everything as his grandfather wanted. To call Abedin and tell him everything. And behave decently with him. Orkin informs Efikat that his father tells him to marry Biddle as soon as possible, and he will do it. Orkin does not even suspect that Efikat has long taken control of the situation.